Hi guys, welcome back to Make That Sea Change. My name is Paul here with you again today. And today we're going to talk about selling toys online. This is quite an interesting one that came about recently when I was being dragged through a shopping centre by my lovely wife looking for Christmas presents. At time of recording this, it is October and apparently that's when we start looking at Christmas toys. So that's what we were doing. And I actually noticed a, a, a little sign or a little brochure or something in the in the toy shop we're in about how you know can you do you want to do Christmas shopping online which made me think why haven't I written about this so how to make money selling toys online now toys are an interesting niche and they're a very it's a very very large niche the more I looked into it the more I realized that there is way more to it than what I even thought about myself you know I thought about toys we're looking at Lego at the time so I, I thought about toys being toys toy cars a couple of train sets, some Lego, all that sort of stuff. It wasn't until I really started to do my research for this post that just how big toys are. I mean, big toys obviously is swing sets and things like that, but you know, collector's items sort of come under the toy niche. You've got um, electronic toys, toys for pets, which was another one I didn't think of. And you know, you think I think back now and look at all what you know my friends' kids have, you know. Like the movie Frozen, one of our friends' little girls got all the little, is it Elsa, I think, Elky Elsa, or whatever it is from Frozen. Uh, my son has a million Marvel toys. I used to collect Star Wars figurines as a kid, you know, all those sort of things fall in under the toy niche. Then you've got educational toys. Um, again, my son has a little software program that's, a, that's technically a toy, but it's an educational program. So all those sort of things come under toys. So... You know, when we're looking at toys, we need to make sure that you're clear on who it is you're targeting, what it is you're trying to target, because if, you, if you're slightly off, it can be a little bit hard to get those sales, especially if someone's looking for a very specific need for what they're looking at. I mean, hobbyists and collectors get quite annoyed if, I guess, if you even call them toys. I mean, they're figurines, they're, they're collectibles. They're not actually, even though they're toys, I mean, they're a toy doll, but they're still not toys. So... Now you need to be very careful and when you select your niche and how you're going to do that. And that's probably the first thing to talk about. Um, you know, in the post, we've I've had a look at the figures, you know, which I always do to make sure that this is a, a valid niche before I start writing the post. Although I <laughs> check it before I start writing the post. I mean, why would I want to write the post? But, you know, even the first so search on toys, 284,000 searches a month just on the word toys. Yo Gabba Gabba toys, aeroplane toys, toy dog clothes. Um, Yo Gabba Gabba bath toys. 48 people a month search for Yo Gabba Gabba bath toys. I know what they are, my son used to watch the show. And cheap Yo Gabba Gabba toys. You know, there's, and that's only in the first search. And then the, the next ones, you know, like Star Wars toys, Christmas toys, baby toys, 1980 toys. Retro is always big. I don't think I've um, covered any retro on the affiliate programs I talked about, but. Retro is another big one for toys. Um, you know, the old Space Invaders we used to look at. On my electronics um, affiliate programs, there's a couple in there that do a le retro video, a uh, video game one, by apologies. Um, retro in there. So that's another big market. And then bulk and guns and kids and online and, you know, all that sort of stuff. Guns are obviously an interesting one. Some parents like them, some parents don't. Depends where you live in the world as well. And then finally, the trends. I mean, obviously... Toys are going to sell more at Christmas time. Collectors will, there's a, there's a genuine need look for it all year, but massive spikes around Christmas time. There's two spikes. I'm assuming that one is around November in the Black Friday sales, and then another one at Christmas, just based on how um, these look. Or it could be Christmas and Boxing Day sales if I was looking more worldwide, but the one I've got here is the United States, so I'm saying, I'm guessing that's around Black Friday and, and Christmas, as I say. So if you're in that niche, obviously you need to ramp up, get your high ticket items out around those times. So if you're looking at, um, and I keep saying affiliate programs because I do have, I've written another post obviously to go with this, which is affiliate programs for toys. And... I've got one in there which is indoor play sets, indoor play gyms, indoor tents. They're all the high ticket. They're all about between $300 and $1,000. So they're not cheap, but people will spend that sort of money around Christmas time. So make sure you're getting your high-end items out there around that time. Just a little word of advice there. 
So, you know, and we've talked about all the different toy types, you know, baby toys, kids' toys, educational toys, pet toys, electronic toys, the whole lot, you know, collectibles. Massive niche. Um, maybe even too big to be a niche on its own, but, you know, that's something that you can you can look at as you go through. And it brings me to what are you trying to solve? What problems are you trying to solve? So think about in your niche what people will be searching for. Most of us search online to solve a problem and any successful affiliate marketing site is solving problems. You don't get on, you rarely get on, unless you're playing around YouTube, but that's probably to solve the problem of boredom. Um, are you actually getting on and doing searches online for things that aren't problem solving? So think about the Christmas rush for parents. What is it that they want to find out about toys for the kids? Okay, you know, my son wants a play set. What play set are they, do I need to look for a play set that matches age? Am I looking for a play set to match his development skills? Do I want something that's not going to hurt him? Do I want something that he can play on for more than just one year? So are oh, he not going to grow out of it? Um, all those sort of things is what you're looking for when you're solving a problem. So your posts need to solve those problems. Toys, like anything else, people aren't just going to, like, oh, I want a soccer ball. I live near the beach. I'm going to want a soccer ball that we're not going to be playing, you know, um, the English, EPL in it. However, I do want something that might be a bit more waterproof because we're going to be kicking around on the sand. So my problem is soccer balls are waterproof. Salt water eats away the, the stitching on soccer balls like nothing else that you've ever seen. So obviously we want to have a look at, at that sort of thing. So what problems are you solving? Think about your niche as what problems are you solving. And I talk about this all the time. Solve problems, target your audience. The key to selling toys online, toys online with everything, but toys especially, target your audience. Again, what are parents looking for? Do parents want education toys? They want toys that kids are going to have fun with. They want toys that are for water. They want kid toys that are going to be safe. No one's going to want to buy a play set that's unsafe. So think about your, your audience. If you're looking, if you're more in a collectibles market, if you're dealing with Star Wars, I sat and watched the Star Wars trailer. I sit and watch the Star Wars trailers, the new one that's coming out all the time. You know, what is it that people who are buying Star Wars toys want to know? You know, you're not going to sit and say, oh, buy this hand solo figurine for $300 because it'd be a lot of fun. That's not your audience. Your audience is they want to know the size, they want to know how big it is, they want to know what it's made of, they want to know the authenticity, all those sort of things. So just because it's a toy, and don't make the mistake I would, I'll toys are just fun. They're not. There's so many things you need to do. So solve problems, target your audience. What do you need to do that? Well, you're probably gonna need a website. Now here's my affiliate marketing plug, which I always do at this point. If you are looking to build a website and you need help with it, you don't know what you're doing, click on the red banner below, build a website. Go to Wealthy Affiliate. You can build your website for free. There's all the training there you need for free. And again, there is premium memberships there, obviously. And once you pay, you get access to more, more, more stuff. But you can build your own website for free. Get used to it. Tinker with it. It will be live. It's free. Um, there's two phases of training there. So all there. Click on the red thing below. Or click on the very bottom of this post and, sit and watch me build one. You can watch me build over seven days a website in Wealthy Affiliate and you can see exactly what it does. No credit card required. You can sign in and tick along. You can build your toy one. You can ask me any question you like. I'll help you all the way through. So there's my little plug. But if you need a website, websites are how you solve problems. I mean, think about what do you search? You search to solve a problem. I need a toy. You find a website. That's why you need a website. I mean, you might not build it through Wealthy Affiliate. You might build it through, you know, WordPress or Wix or GoDaddy or any of those sort of ones. You might just set up your own store on Etsy or go through Amazon. There, there is ways that you can sell toys without a website, but it's a lot easier with one. Um, you might need some social media. So with toys, you know, YouTube, there's guys on YouTube who make gazillions just demonstrating toys. I mean, if you want to make money selling toys, do that. Um, but there is also some, 
you know, some social media stuff you can do of just demonstrating what it is you're trying to sell or you can show pictures of them on Pinterest or, or Instagram or something like that. Facebook groups are another very, very good way to get access to your audience. What is it they want to know? What are you trying to find out? Um, people will people will talk to you on those 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 platforms and they will tell you what it is that they want to know. You know, I'm a collector's runners especially in the in the post I just showed you all the Star Wars. Um, let me scroll down and find that. You know, there's <laughs> six Star Wars um, groups that I found straight away. There's one Star Wars toy photography. If you remember that group, people start showing those photographs. Oh, where do I get that? Bang, out comes your post. This is where you can get it. Um, you probably won't be able to promote directly in there about that, but as people get to know you, you if they're friends with you on Facebook, which they tend to do, you can put on your Facebook post there, they find it and... You know, it brings traffic, brings sales. So join your Facebook groups. Then what are we going to do? We're going to do affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing is where you um, find your affiliate programs. And that can be anything. I, if you go to the site um, under affiliate marketing where it says to find affiliate programs, click on that link. It takes you to my post about with some affiliate marketing programs you can look at for toys if you want to, if you want to go that way. Affiliate marketing you, you write about a certain toy, you put a link off to the vendor, people click on that link, they purchase from the vendor, you get a commission from that from that sale. So you've got affiliate marketing. Then you've got drop shipping, which is similar, but you set the price. So you set up a wholesale arrangement with somebody, you write about it, you know, click here to purchase this, it's gonna cost you $100. If you've wholesaled it for 50, you make $50. Affiliate marketing, you don't have the option to set the price because you're sending them straight to the straight to the vendor. Have a read on the on the post below. I'm not going to go you know bore you with the whole range of affiliate marketing, whole range of drop shipping, and you've also got white labeling, which allows you to you know if you're in the if you're a bit crafty or you're making your own toys, you're making your own kids bikes. So one of my neighbours when I was growing up used to make kids bikes. Used to people come to his house left, right, and centre. And these days he might be selling those online. You know so. White labeling or making your own is the other option you've got. So, you know, that's, <clears throat> that's selling toys. Work out your niche, solve problems. What problems can you solve with the niche that you've got? Make sure that you're targeting the correct audience to match your niche. Make sure you've got yourself a solid website, some social media presence, and then set up either an affiliate marketing arrangement, drop shipping arrangement, or a white labeling arrangement, or, you know, where you're selling your own. Sell it through your website, sell it at trade shows, whatever, toys. There's a definite market there. And if it's something you're interested in and you want more information, please comment below if you need any help with it. Any, if there's anything I haven't answered, have a good look through the post. If you're in YouTube, please um, comment on there if there's anything you need. If you're in the, in the blog post, comment below. Anything you think I've missed, if you have experience selling it, all that sort of stuff. Oh, and if you're on YouTube, please subscribe and like the video as well. Okay, guys, thanks for that. I hope that was helpful. As usual, as I've said, any questions, any comments, don't be afraid to reach out, and I'll check you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.